following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, text number five and six, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 11th, 1973, in New Delhi, India. Savai Bhumsan Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radho Khaji Ahoi Tukya Pratihata Jayatma Sam Pratihidit Jayatma Sut Prasidati Everyone is seeking <coughs> after happiness. Atmanti dukkha nidvitti. The struggle for existence is to minimize miserable condition of life and increase enjoyment. We, the living entities, we are part and parcel of God. Mamai vamsa jiva bhuta. Jiva bhuta, jivas. All jivas, living entities, uh, they are part and parcel of Krishna, of God. When we speak of Krishna, means God. God has got many thousands of names, but this one name is chief. Krishna means the all attract. Krishna attracts everyone. Or one who attracts everyone, he is God. God cannot be uh, attractive for some man or some living entities, not for others. By his opulence, by his richness, by his power, by his beauty, by his knowledge, by his renunciation, by his reputation, God is all attracted. So all these opulences you will find in Krishna. Vaisadyasya samagrasya vidyasya jasasya sriya jnana muiragvaya sriva sarayiti bhagavangana. Bhava. Bhava means opulence. Just like we sometimes speak bhagava. That comes from this word bhava. Similarly, Bhagavan. Bhagavan means the owner of all opulences. That is called Bhagavan. There are now, nowadays, so many Bhagavans. But they are not owner of all opulences. Maybe partly. But God means, Bhagavan means, Samadra. Samadra means complete. One rich man can claim that I am owner of so many crows. Another can claim, no, I have got one or two more crows, more than you. Others may say so on, so on, so on, go on. But nobody can claim that I am the owner of all of this. But in the Bhagavad-gītā, you will find Krishna claim, Bhoktaram Jantatamasam Sarvaloka Maheshara. Sarvaloka Maheshara, the supreme proprietor of all the lokas. That is admitted by the Shastra. In the Brahma Samhita, it is said, Ishara Parama Krishna. Ishara means controller or the powerful man who controls. Take, for example, the president <coughs> or the king. So there are many Isharas or controllers. You are also Ishara, I am also Ishara. Because you also control at least your family members or some animals. So this controlling capacity is there in everyone. 
बिकॉज वी आर पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ कृष्णा बट वी आर नॉट सुप्रीम कंट्रोल वी आर कंट्रोलर ऑफ सम एंटिटीज बट वी आर कंट्रोल ऑल्सो बाय समथिंग सुपीरियर देर फॉर वी आर नॉट एब्सोल्यूट कंट्रोल वी आर रिलेटिव कंट्रोल तो बट अबाउट कृष्ण इट इज से ईश्वर परम ऑफ कृष्ण परम मीन सुप्रीम ही कंट्रोल एवरी वन और एवरी थिंग बट ही इज नॉट कंट्रोल बाय एनी वन दैट इज ईश्वर परम वी आर ईश्वर वी कंट्रोल टू इन आवर जूर इज दिक्स एंड बट वी आर ऑल्सो कंट्रोल बाय समे ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड बट इन कृष्णज लाइफ यू विल फाइंड दैट ही कंट्रोल एवरी वन बट ही इज नॉट कंट्रोल बाय एनी वन देर फॉर इज कॉल ईश्वर परम ऑफ कृष्ण सचिदानंद विग्रह ही हैज नॉट इज फॉर गॉड हैज नॉट इज फॉर दे मायावादी फिलोजॉफर्स दे थिंक द एब्सुलूट ट्रूथ इज इन पार्सनल शून्यवाद नो एब्सुलूट कैनॉट बी जीरो और इन पार्सनल बिकॉज कंट्रोलर कंट्रोलर मस्ट हैव ब्रेन विदाउट ब्रेन हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल एंड एज सुन एज यू हैव गॉट ब्रेन यू हैव गॉट अदर लिंक्स ऑफ द बॉडी टू कैरी आउट द ऑर्डर ऑफ द ब्रेन सो एज सुन एज यू हैव गॉट सेंसेस एंड यू एज सुन एज यू हैव गॉट सेंस ऑर्गेन एज सुन एज यू हैव गॉट ब्रेन एज यू एज सुन एज यू हैव गॉट एक्टिविटीज यू आर ए पर्सन This is the conclusion of the shastra. Therefore, the absolute controller cannot be impersonal. By our practical life, we see government. Government is an impersonal world, but at the end of the government, there is a governor or president, a person. A person is required. Ah, uh, will apply his brain. Now, how is that? That without brain, the whole cosmic manifestation is in control. That is not very reasonable, uh, and that is not according to Shastra. According to Shastra, the absolute truth is explained in the Bhagavad Gita as tattva. Tattva means truth. So, Simad Bhagavatam says. The tattva beep, one who knows the tattva, true. Vadanti tat tattva vidas tattam, just the just gyanam or gyo, brahmeti paramatmeti bhagwani ti sadhya. Those who are actually knower of the absolute truth, they know that the absolute truth is manifested in three features: impersonal brahma. And localized Paramatma, or the Jani, or the Super Soul, as Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, that in each body there is a soul. Khetrakna, idam sariram khetram iti avi biyat. The body, I am not this body, but I know it is my body. Therefore, I am khetrakna, and the body is khetra. And Krishna said that khetramman chapi man vidhi sarva khetre su Bharat. That sarva khetre su Bharat in every body. That manifestation of God or Krishna is called Paramatma or Super Soul. So the Super Soul and the Soul, both of them, are sitting on this body. It is compared with a tree, just like on the tree, two birds sitting, friendly birds. One is eating the fruit, and another is simply witnessing. Upadrasta anumanta. So this is the science. Uh, so 
Uh, human life is made for understanding this science. This is the ultimate science. Adhāda brahma jīgyāsa. Human life is not made for wasting, like cats and dogs, simply eating, sleeping, meeting. That is not human life. At the present moment, they are simply engaged in these four principles of bodily demands of life. How to eat, how to sleep, how to have sense gratification, and how to defend. Uh, unfortunately, we have become less than the animals. Because the animals, they have no problem. In the birds, out of all living entities, eight million four hundred thousands of forms. The human forms are only four hundred thousand. The majority of the living entities, they are in different forms. Jarajanamlakhani, Thavara Lakhavinsati, Kirmayu Rudra Sankata, Kokshina Dasalakhatam. They are aquatics, they are insects, they are birds, bees, trees, plants, and then human beings by evolution process. So they have no problem. You can see in the early morning, the sparrows, they are dancing, chirping, and they have no problem. Immediately though they will go to some tree and they will farm, farm, find out some little fruit, they will eat. They are eating problem, there is no eating problem, there is no sleeping problem, and there is no sex life problem also. Along with them there is opposite sex. And they depend in their own way. So this is, these are not actually problems. These are already settled up according to your body. That is the body of the Shastra. Tallabhate dukkha valannata sukham kalena sarvatra gabhira ramhasa. According to your body, your eating problem, your sleeping problem, your sense gratification problem and defending problem are already settled. That is the body of the Shastra. <coughs> your real problem is as our Panchadarvi Maharaj explained, how to solve the problem of repetition of birth, death, old age, and disease. That is your problem. Uh, therefore, in the human society, uh, there is some system of religion, how to solve this problem. But people in this age, they have become so misled, misguided, that they are not taking care of the real problem, but they are very much engaged in the temporary problems which are already solved. We are simply mismanaging them. Uh, so, to how to make solution of the problems of life, that means is called dharma. Dharma means the regulatory principle which is given to the human society by God. I have already explained many times that the law is given by the state for regulatory principles of life. Similarly, dharma is also regulatory principle to the human society. Ah. And just to make his life successful. What is that successful life? Successful life means he, a human being has come to the, this human form of life through the evolutionary process. Now he should make such arrangement that next life uh, he may be free from this reputation of birth and death, at least, or he may go to other planets, higher standard of life, that as it is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Janti Deva Brata Deva Pitri Janti Pitri Brata Bhuteja Janti Bhutani Marjajinopi Janti Ma. That is the human life. You prepare yourself for a higher standard of life or to make a permanent solution of your miserable condition of life 
namely birth, death, old age, and disease. This is required. This is human uh, business or dharma. Uh, so how you can attain that dharma? Uh, dharma means the occupational duty. Dharma is not a sentiment. Practically nowadays people are taking dharma. Religion means, religion means a kind of faith. But that is not the description of the Vedic Shastra. Faith you can change. Today you are Hindu, tomorrow you can become Muslim. Or today you are Muslim, tomorrow you can become Christian. You can change your faith. But that is not religion. Change of faith or accepting some faith, that is not religion. Religion means which you cannot change. Even if you become from Hindu to Muslim, or from Muslim to Christian, that your occupational duty you cannot change. Take for example, suppose you are a government sir. You are serving in the secretariat. But tomorrow you become Hindu or Muslim or Christian. But do you mean to say that your service in the government will be changed also? No. That will continue. So, Real business means we have to serve somebody. That is explained by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Jivera Sarupai Nitta Krishna Das. Our real business, our real occupation is to serve Krishna, God. That is all. That service spirit, because we have forgotten God or Krishna, we are serving somebody else, that is called Maya. We have to serve. Nobody can say, in this meeting there are so many ladies and gentlemen, nobody can say that I do not serve anymore. I am free. That is not possible. You must have to serve. And that service is called dharma. Just like salt is a salty taste. Sugar is sweet taste. The sweet taste is the dharma of sugar. Uh, the pungent taste of chili, that is the dharma. It cannot change. If sugar is salty, you do not accept. Or oh, this is not sugar. Similarly, living entity has got a permanent occupational duty, that is service. That service is being carried on in different names. Service of the family, service of the country, service of the community, service of the nation, service of the humanity, so many ways. But there is service. But this service cannot be complete unless this service goes up to the transcendental loving service of Krishna. That is for Dikshana service. And that is called dharma. Try to understand what is dharma. Uh, so here, Sūta <coughs> Goswāmi uh, was answering the question of Sūrapādi Muni in Naimisāraṇa. Uh, they inquired that after the departure of Krishna, Krishna came, uh, uh, Paritrāna sādhunā vināsāyasa duskitā dharma samasthāvanā. So their inquiry was that after departure of Krishna, the protection of dharma, how it is being maintained, or under whom, where it has gone. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, and what is actually dharma? So here it is explained, savai puṁsāṁ paro dharma. Paro means superior, not this religion, Hindu religion, Muslim religion, Christian religion, or there are so many other religions. That is also dharma. That is temporary. But paro dharma means permanent dharma, eternal dharma, or sanatana dharma. That is called paro. Paro means superior. The sabai punsa paro dharma, jato bhakti radhokhade, adhokhaja. Adhokhaja means God. Adha. Adha means cut down. Akhaja means direct perception, adhakhaja. He cannot understand God by direct perception. You have got your eyes, 
But if you want to see where is God, show me, that is not immediately possible. We have to prepare our eyes to see God. Ah. So therefore, God's another name is Adhokhaja, Adhokrita Akhajam Jnanam Jat. Not by direct perception you can understand God. So here it is mentioned, Adhokhaja means you cannot perceive the Supreme, Absolute Truth by your sense perception. You have to learn it by Sruti, by hearing. Hearing is also experience by hearing. Savanam kirtanam Vishnu, smaranam padasevanam, archanam bandhanam dasam, sakham atmanivena. This is the process. Here, if you simply hear about God, then you will see God by hearing. Ah. That is, because there is a cloud of a dirtiness within our heart. Unless that dirtiness is clean, we cannot perceive God. Therefore, this process of chanting Hare Krishna mantra is described by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Cheta Dattvana Marjanam, cleansing the mirror of heart. Just like unless you cleanse the mirror, which is full of dust, you cannot see your face very nicely. Similarly, Unless you cleanse your heart very nicely, uh, or in other words, unless your heart is clean of all sinful reactions, you cannot understand what is God. That is not possible. Uh, <coughs> in the Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Jesam Anta Gautam Papam Jananam Purna Karmana Te Bandamaha Nirmukta Bhajanti Mangdirabhata uh, they can see God, one who is fully washed off all sinful reaction of life. That can be done very easily. That can be done very easily. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Dharman Purittaja Mam Ekam Saranam Raja Aham Kva Sarva Papi Bhava Khaishan. Everyone in this material world, we are suffering the sinful reaction of our past life or this life. That is a fact. But Krishna says that I can give you uh, I mean, the protection from all reaction of sinful life if you surrender it. So to become free from sinful life, there is only simple method if you surrender to Krishna, uh, that is the beginning of bhakti, jato bhakti radhokat. Bhakti life begins when you fully surrender unto the lotus feet of God. That is the bhakti. Uh, <coughs> so here it is said that it does not matter whether you are a Hindu or Muslim or Christian or Buddhist, it does not matter. Your system of religion is first class if you can develop your general love for Krishna, God, Adhukhali. That is the test. Uh, you may advertise yourself, or I may advertise myself. I am a great religious person. But the test is how much you have learned to love God, how much you have advanced in that process. Uh, so here in this verse it is said that sabai pungsan paro dharma yato bhakti adhokhari. Then what will be my profit? Suppose I simply love God. I love. The loving propensity is there in me. I love some boy, I love some girl. I love my country, I love my family, I love my society, I love my country. The loving propensity is there. There is no doubt. Everyone, in cats and dogs, because he is living entity, he has got a loving propensity. A tiger also loves its tongues. Ah. But this love, when well, it will be applied to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that is the perfection of love. Savai Pumsaṅkaro dharma, yato bhakti What kind of love? 
ਆਹੋਈ ਤੁਕੀ ਯੂ ਲਵ ਗੋਡ ਨਾਟ ਫਾਰ ਐਵਰੀ ਅਦਰ ਥਿੰਗ ਆ ਦੈਟ ਗੋਡ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਸਮ ਵੈਲਥ ਗੋਡ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਮੀ ਥਿਸ ਗੋਡ ਵਿਲ ਆਈ ਕੈਨ ਟੇਕ ਫਰਮ ਗੋਡ ਦਿਸ ਨੋ ਆਹੋਈ ਤੁਕੀ ਨੋ ਕੋਸ ਦੈਟ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਮ ਇਨ ਵਾਂਟ ਆਫ ਸਮ ਮਨੀ ਵੇਅਰਫੋਰ ਆਈ ਸ਼ੈਲ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਚਾਰਜ ਆਫ ਟੈਂਪਲ ਔਰ ਲਵ ਗੋਡ ਨੋ ਆਹੋਈ ਤੁ ਹਾਂ ਜਸਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਪੀਪਲ ਜਨਰਲੀ ਗੋ ਦੇ ਲਾਈਕ ਦੈਟ ਉਹ ਗੋਡ ਦੀ ਬਾਤ ਆਵਰ ਡੇਲੀ ਬ੍ਰੈਡ well when you are asking god for daily bread daily bread is already given to every man even birds and bees your bread is also there but people do not know that my bread is already there why i shall bother god for daily bread huh? let me learn how to love god god is giving us so many things without asking god is giving us light god is giving us water god dumir upon all of all you come with him and everything is in without which cannot live and he will not give us a bread ah the bhagavad gita says they are also pious even one goes to god for asking something for some material profit ah chatur vidha bhajante man jana sukriti na arjun sukriti sukriti means that pious that's the opposite number duskriti na they will never go to god that's like the communist ah they say what is this nonsense god ah we shall produce our food we shall produce our happiness ah they are called duskriti no duskriti no means sinful actually they do not know that without sanction of god you cannot get anything so at least one who accepts this power of god and goes to god for asking bread or something money or something else they are pious that is this kind of bhagavad gita sukriti na arjun but those who do not go at all do do not care for god they are called duskriti na namar duskriti na mudha apadante naram ah so to love god is the ultimate chaitanya mahaprabhu also says prema pumartha maha the supreme gain of life is how to be situated in the platform of loving service to the supreme person god that is actual perfection that is described here ahoi to ki apratihata apratihata means this love cannot be checked if you love somebody here in this material world uh, then if you have no money the exchange of love will be hampered uh, but this love of god cannot be hampered if you want to love god there is no material impediments ahoi to ki apratihata it cannot be checked you may be the poor but the poorest of the poor is still you can love god that krishna says in the bhagavad gita patram pushpam phalam toyam jo bhi bhaktya pradach ha patram a little lead or a little water a little flower a little fruit patram pushpam phalam toyam if you offer to krishna my lord my krishna i am very poor man i cannot give you anything but i have collected a little fruit little flower little water so i have come to offer you krishna says yes tad aham asnami taya bhakta bhitam asnami prajatatmana he is not hungry but he wants your love he wants your love that is and therefore he comes personally he comes jada jada hi dharma sagran what is the dharma sagran man when people forget how to love god that is dharma sagran ah uh, not that god so he comes to teach and ultimately teaches ah uh, in the middle he also teaches man vana bhagavad bhakta madhyadi man namaskar ah this is god teaching that you simply think of god man vana man bhakta become devotee of god worship god ah man vana bhagavad bhakta madhyadi man namaskar you are coming here here is god you are offering our obeisance it will go to your credit yeah this is called agya to supriti 
दोज वर्का में या टेकिंग पार्ट इन दिस आरती सेरेमनी डांसिंग और ऑफरिंग सम रिस्पेक्ट एवरीथिंग गो टू योर पेडी एवरीथिंग इज गो टू इन दिस वे जस्ट लाइक इफ यू मेक बैंक बैलेंस 1 रुपी 1 रुपी 1 रुपी सम टाइम्स यू विल सी इट इज नाउ 100000 रुपी सिमिलरली वी आर गिविंग चांस ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड ओपनिंग दिस राधा कृष्ण टेंपल giving them chance to chant the glories of the lord that means it is going to their credit ah if they take it immediately sarva dharman phalit tarja mahame kam saranam vaj that is very nice but if you cannot this chance will never go in vain this is the consciousness moment samay punjhan karo dharma yato bhakti yoga kare ahi to ki and anyone can join there is no question Krishna is not meant for the Hindus or Indian. This is a mistake. Yeah, now the Westerners, the Europeans, Americans, they understand. Uh, they do not say that why should we accept Krishna? He is Indian. He is Hindu. No, Krishna is for everyone. Just that his son, the same son, he rises. First of all, rises in India. Then gradually goes to Europe. Does it mean? the european sun and the indian sun the different no the one sun uh, similarly god is one for everyone uh, krishna says in the bhagavad gita sarva jyoti shu kaunte sarva jyoti shu means eight million four hundred thousand species of god uh, sarva jyoti shu kaunte or sambhavanti murta yaja there are as many forms te sar mahajani brahma aham abija padatita he says aham aya And this is living power. Mamai vam se jiva hota. Every living entity, uh, they are my part and parcel. As the sons, daughters, they are part and parcel of the father. Therefore, in some religion, God is always as the supreme father. Actually, He is supreme father. That is it. Our duty to enjoy the property of the father. Similarly, it is our duty to love the supreme father. That is Krishna consciousness moment, and it cannot be checked. Oh, he to be a prati hata, jena atma samprasidati, suprasidati. Everyone is wanting peace of mind. Atma, atma means body, atma means mind, atma means the soul. Jena atma suprasidati, suprasidati. Prasidati means become satisfied, and soul means very much. So unless you learn this part, how to love God, you cannot be happy. This is the fact. The sooner you make business, uh, finish this business, how to learn that these chances in this human form of life, uh, you can learn. And the play method is very play, especially in this age. Uh, that is stated in the Shrimad Bhagavatam. Kalau dosa ni dey rajan, asti dey ko mahan guna. कीर्तनादेव कृष्ण से मुक्त संग परम ब्रजे सिंपली बाई चैंटिंग कृष्ण ने दिस हरे कृष्ण महाव मुक्त संग ही बिकम फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल दी कॉन्टेमिनेशन ऑफ दिस से मुक्त परम ब्रजे ही गोज दी सुप्रीम अवॉर्ड बैक टू होम बैक टू गॉड है 